Welcome to SAT Books, in which a perfect SAT math score helps you get a perfect score in the reading section. Now today we're talking about Energy and Civilization by Vaclav Smil. Once again, we're dealing with the efficiency of energy conversion. Today we're going to focus on one man's revolution of the lighting sector. Thomas Alva Edison's invention of the incandescent light bulb revolutionized how we convert energy from one form to another, from heat energy to electromagnetic radiation. Let's go ahead and celebrate Edison's invention of the light bulb. Folks, today we're going to celebrate the invention of the light bulb by celebrating Thomas Edison's discovery of the incandescent light bulb in the late 1880s. What Edison discovered was the most efficient way to heat the resistor, the filament within the bulb, so that the resistor heats up to such a degree that it burns and it creates electromagnetic radiation which we perceive as light. Now, Edison's light bulbs, those incandescent light bulbs, weren't that efficient. In fact, they converted only 0.01% of the chemical energy contained in the wax of the candle into electromagnetic radiation, which is light. In fact, most of the energy was just dissipated as heat. That's why if you touch a light bulb, it's hot, it glows hot. Because most of the energy doesn't go into electromagnetic radiation, instead it goes into heat. Now, what Edison did is he found not 99 ways to fail, but 99 ways that did not work. He tried many resistors, he tried doubling up resistors, he tried coiling filaments in various... Edison discovered DC current. What is DC current? Well, it's what lights up this bulb right here. What does that mean? That means light bulbs are powered by direct current. Direct current is current that flows only in one direction. Okay, as opposed to alternating current, which goes in one direction, then switches around and goes in the other direction. In fact, when Edison was 37 years old, he invited many employees to help him build his dream of electrifying all of the United States, starting from New Jersey. Who did he start by employing? A young man from Serbia, a young immigrant, I should say, whose name was Nikola Tesla. Now, Tesla was a brilliant young man, and as a matter of fact, he surpassed his own master. Tesla discovered AC circuits, okay, which is short for alternating current. Now, what is the genius of alternating current? The beauty of alternating current is that it does not lose energy over distance. For example, if Edison's DC circuits were to be implemented in our modern homes, those wires would be losing a lot of voltage, right? So they would be dissipating a lot of the energy, as opposed to AC circuits, which can actually save a lot of money and save a lot of energy by flowing a small amount of current through the wires and then using a transformer to boost the voltage. And therein lies the genius of AC and DC circuits. To this day, uh, Tesla has won out in the AC race. In fact, most of your homes are probably powered by AC, alternating current, but Edison has won out in the sense that every single battery in the world still uses direct current to light up their bulbs. All right, folks, that's it for this episode of Power. Let's go ahead and check out some more. Thanks for watching. We'll check you out next time.